Well, now we're going to send it over to Chris Mulcahy. Chris, uh, you were following these storms all weekend. Uh, why was the damage so bad in Rock Hill? Well, Sarah, this is from what's called a supercell thunderstorm. Now, most likely when you hear supercell, you're thinking of, oh, this was a tornado. Well, oftentimes they can drop a tornado. Every supercell has a 30% chance of a tornado but they have a 100% chance for hail. Check out this photo that was sent to me by Mary Rose. The size of that hail is roughly anywhere from about golf ball size to about the size of an egg. So that's 1.75 inches to about two inches in diameter. This is a massive system. I'm pulling up right now exactly what happened between about 4 and 4.30, including some of the hail tracks. Notice that bullseye that comes right south of Rock Hill. I can actually bring it one step further. It was closer to right around the I-77 corridor. The things got especially bad. And here's the reason why you had warm air that was coming out of the south cold air on the back edge. Think of this as like a really small scale low pressure system. These get extra strong. So this actually has the designated signature of a little hook echo that we look for tornadic activity, but it's the hail core before you have that rotation that dumps some of the worst hail. So as this is moving towards the rock hill, check out some of the damage that we saw right here on I 77. This is sent in by Tess completely covering the road like it was snow smashing out the windshield. The reason why why this storm went up to 30,000 feet where temperatures are 40 below zero. At that point, you have those water droplets that are rising and condensing, rising and condensing. This power and that energy allowed the perfect setup with the temperature to drop it down to up to speeds of 60 to 65 miles per hour. So a big cleanup and a lot of insurance claims in York County.